Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. Let's talk about this HP battery alert. You can see that the message is saying that BIOS has detected that the storage capacity of the internal battery has been reduced. This may cause the environmental factors such as low ambient operating temperature or it could be due to battery pack aging. So if you're getting that error message on your HP laptop, then more likely that the battery has gone bad. Okay, so we do need to replace the uh, the battery in this in this reason. All right, so let me go ahead and turn off the computer. All right, the computer is shut off. So turn it around. And let's identify the model of this HP. So if you take a look here, it says Mo HP laptop model 15 DY. Okay, so that is the model here, DY1087NR. It doesn't have to be exact same model, but if you're getting that same error message, they're telling you the battery is, you know, has gone bad or aging, then more likely you do need to replace the battery. Here is the rubber that stops the computer from sliding away. The uh, hidden screw underneath that rubber. So go ahead and pry it open. And making sure that the tape comes with it because we are going to reuse that rubber when we are done with replacing the battery. You want to do the same for the bottom. So when you remove that rubber stopper, make sure you dig deep down enough that the adhesive comes out with the rubber together. Next is to get a Phillips screwdriver. This is just a regular Phillips. We're going to remove some of the screws here. The top right corner is the black screw. The rest of it are silver. Go ahead and remove them. Now, if you're not sure where to buy the um, the battery, go ahead and check the link down description below. I would direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement battery for this HP laptop. And you should always identify the battery that you're working with. So maybe you might have a different model HP, then you might want to check the uh, the battery itself okay but more likely they use the same battery once you have removed all the screws the next step is to go ahead and pry it open what i like to do is to work on the um, the top here where the plastic is and i can feel like you can see that here on the side is bulging and it's hard okay that tells me that the battery is pushing on the other side of the laptop so you can see that the uh, the corner here it seems to be uh, very hard and is bulging like separating the uh, the plastic all right once you have a little gap on the plastic what i like to do is to use the the, not the metal plastic tool, is the, the the plastic one so that I can run across uh, the back cover without making a scratch or a dent to the plastic. Okay, once you have removed the back cover, you then now can see that the battery is here. Okay, the next step is to go ahead and remove the screws. One, two, three, four, and five. So there are five screws in total. Once you remove them, you can now slide the battery out. 
as you can see that the battery is somewhat uh, swollen or bulging and it's hard you can see that it's hard so a good battery should be flat like that And then to identify the battery, you want to look at the model here is HT03XL. That is the model of the battery or the replacement spare part from HP. Okay, that is the replacement. Let me go ahead and install. Just slide it back in like such. Put the screws back together. Okay, have the cover to go back on top. I'm just gonna press it down. They're yeah, just like the clipper, they clip back on together. Okay, once you have done with that process, remember the screws on the top right corner. That is the black screw. Put it back in. And the top left corner is the black one as well. And the rest of it is silver. So if you do find this video is helpful, all I'm asking is to go ahead and smash the like button for me. And if you want to show appreciation that I can able to help you, um, then you can click on that super thanks YouTube do have super thanks where you can uh, show appreciation by donating money I really appreciate you for doing that okay I have all the screws back together and once you have done with that process do not forget that rubber stopper to stop the computer from sliding away go ahead and align them properly i like to align the front and the end and then gently just have the middle sits back on top of it sometimes when you peel it off it, it gets longer it gets stretched so you might want to uh, be gentle when you pull it off so once i have them the right position okay that's pretty much it and then you can go ahead and turn on the computer you should not be seeing that error message anymore um, but I'm not sure if the new battery has has enough power if not then you should Get a charger, plug it in, and let's turn it on, take a look. So when I plug in that charger, I should be able to see an amber orange light here on the charger part, meaning that it's charging the battery, and the computer turns on. Um, this one here, it says that the CMOS is invalid. That means we did remove the old battery. So because we remove the broken battery, the computer get reset. That is the error message that you're seeing. You're only gonna show you one time, you won't show it again. So uh, do not get freaked out when you see that CMOS checksum invalid error message, okay? So the computer is turning on. Oh, okay, it's doing some updates too. So let it do the updates. Um, that's pretty much it. And a quick reminder, And a quick reminder is the uh, if you're not sure where to find the replacement battery and the tools, check the link down in the description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement part. And again, if you do find this video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button. I really appreciate you for doing that. And of course, uh, you want to show appreciation. There is a donation button where you can click on, which is the YouTube super thanks. Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, uh, please take care and comment down below if you have any question. And until next time, bye now.